Amazon ads have always created confusion in authors, but today is going to be easier than ever to create Amazon ads for your books. Typically, the hardest part about creating an Amazon ad is creating the long list of keywords to allow Amazon to properly target your ads. Normally, if you are manually creating a list of keywords for your Amazon ad, it can take anywhere from one to two hours. And if you are familiar with Amazon ads and have dove in deep into the world of Amazon ads, then you know that sometimes it's very beneficial to have many, many different ads running at the same time. You got to keep a close eye on them. So you can really spend at least an hour and two on your Amazon ads every single week just doing keyword research. But my favorite publishing software, Publisher Rocket, has just made a new exciting update that allows you to very easily create a list of keywords for your Amazon ads. So what is Publisher Rocket? If you've watched my videos in the past, then you've definitely heard me talk about Publisher Rocket. It's known mostly as a tool that you can use to do research for categories and keywords for your book on Amazon when you are setting it up. So the keywords that you have when you set up your book on KDP is different from the keywords that you would use to set up an Amazon ad. And when you set up Amazon ads, you need a lot more keywords than these seven keywords that you are allowed to use when you're setting up your book on KDP. So today I'm going to do a tutorial on using Publisher Rocket to create a list of keywords for your Amazon ads. Now before we get started, I just want to note that everything I talk about today is more of just a preview into the software and what you can use it for. It is not a full-blown tutorial on Amazon ads. If you want a tutorial on Amazon ads, Dave Chesnin, also known as Kindlepreneur, who created the software Publisher Rocket, actually just created an Amazon ads course. That course is free to take. So make sure you go ahead and take that course now. It's free, so why not? I will leave it linked down below and you will learn how you can use a publisher rocket to create Amazon ads and also how to create Amazon ads. You can also read my book, Book Sales That Multiply. In that book, I cover Amazon ads as well as Facebook ads, Goodreads giveaway, newsletter swaps, all that good stuff. Anyways, all that will be linked down in the description, but let's get on with the video. Okay, so we're going to be creating an ad for my novel Meet Me at the Summit because it is the first in a series. It is also the book that has like the most reviews, so it'll be the one that will perform the best when it comes to having Amazon ads placed on it. So here we are in Publisher Rocket software. As you can see, there is a new column here, the Amazon ads column, but you can see there's a lot of other tools here as well. So if you aren't familiar with Publisher Rocket, make sure to get familiar. Once you buy the software, you have lifetime access to it. So if you already own this software, you already have the Amazon ads update and you didn't have to pay in any additional fees. It's awesome. So the earlier you buy the software, the better. So to get started, we're just going to go ahead and click on the Amazon ads button and then hit start new ads project. So step one, that is to enter your ASIN. And to find your ASIN, let's go ahead and pull up our book on KDP. So here we have my book on KDP and we need the ASIN. I'm gonna do an ad for the Kindle version of my book. So we have the ASIN right here. We're just gonna go and copy and then we're going to paste and then hit search. And we can see my book pop up here and we just go ahead and click that's my book. Step two, enter your book's keywords. So it's saying, please enter the seven Kindle keywords that describe your book. So that is referring to this page on KDP where you enter your keywords. So we can just go ahead and copy and paste all of these into a Publisher Rocket. I also used Publisher Rocket to come up with this list of keywords. So I'm gonna just go ahead and enter these in quickly. Once you have all your keywords in, you just go ahead and hit the continue button. And right here we see books that pop up that just based off of our keywords that Publisher Rocket is saying it is similar to the book that we have. 
So you can just go through and if you see a book that you're not familiar with or you're like that doesn't fit, you can just unclick it. Admittedly, I'm not super familiar with a lot of these. So with anything I'm not super sure of, I'm just going to unclip them. I can also tell just based off of subtitles here that some of them are the same. But you can also add in books. So say you have a comp title that's not showing up here, you can add those in. So Mosquito Land is one of the comp titles for Meet Me at the Summit. So we need to have the ASIN to add it in. So we're just going to go down to the bottom. We can see the ASIN. We're just going to copy and we are going to paste and hit add book. And then that should add it in right there. So now we're going to hit save project and continue. And this brings us to step three, which is select your Amazon ad keywords. So you may not see a ton of keywords here, but that's because they're all broken down into different categories. We have keyword targets, book targets, category bestseller targets, and comparable author targets. So depending on which type of list of keywords you want to create depends on, you know, where you want to click around to, but really just start exploring and seeing all the different keywords. So we can see my book actually pops up, Meet Me at the Summit and then Meet Me at the Summit by Mandy Lynn pops up as keywords. And then you can also see this relevancy score and you can see there's pages and pages of these lists of keywords. So I'm just gonna go through and we can check in different things that I feel is relevant to my book. And as we check them off, we can see them being added to this list over here. Now, typically when you create a list of keywords for an Amazon ad, you are targeting one thing very specifically. So right now we can see that I'm more dealing in with the mental health side of Meet Me at the Summit. So when I create ad copy for Meet Me at the Summit, I wanna make sure the ad copy reflects that as well because Meet Me at the Summit deals with a girl who loses both of her parents in a car accident and it's really about her story of dealing with her grief and finding herself again after such a huge loss. So even though new adult coming of age romance is technically relevant for Meet Me at the Summit because Meet Me at the Summit is young adult slash new adult. It's a clean romance book, but because of the age, which is college age, it's technically considered new adult, but I still market it as a young adult sometimes because it still has that young adult feel, even though the main character is like borderline young adult. But I don't want to click on this keyword because I want to make an ad target that is specific to more mental health. What I can do is come back in later and create another list that's like this, but targeting romance and do an ad targeting romance instead. So really, you can just go in and click around and choose as many keywords as you'd like. Ideally, the longer the keyword list, the better. But as you can see, we can just click around forever. You can also make a list just targeting the teen coming of age. Because as you can see, we have a lot of coming of age keywords as well. For some reason, it's saying that it's not very relevant. And this is based off of the categories of my book and the categories of the other books that were entered. So maybe I need to reevaluate the categories that my book is in. So this just gives you a lot to think about. We also have keywords based by book target. So you can target other authors. You can add other authors as keywords. You can add other book titles as keywords. We also have subtitles we can add in as keywords. We also have keywords based off of categories. And you can see all of those here. And we could spend a long time just clicking things and playing around with things. I'm just doing a tutorial today, so I'm not going to be actually making an Amazon ad out of this. I probably will later after filming this video, but I just want to do this quickly so you guys can get the gist of things. And then we also have a comparable authors tab. So if there's an author, you know, always has comp titles to yours, you can find them and do the drop down and you can see their book title and their ASIN. You can also do ASINs as keywords as well. I'm not sure how well they perform. I feel like the book title and author name would probably perform better 
than the ASIN, but you can add it in if you'd like. Step number four is to export your list. So once you have your list of keywords, you want to go ahead and export it. And ideally you want a list much longer than this and a list that makes more sense. I was just clicking around and giving you guys a tutorial, uh, but you would hit the export list button and you would be able to call it whatever you want, save it where you want. And here is the list that we just exported, which brings us to step five, which is to set up your ad on Amazon. So here we are on KDP. We're gonna hit the promote and advertise button for the book that we were just working on. And we're gonna go over here to run an ad campaign and we're gonna do it for amazon.com. You can obviously do it for all the other locations as well. And we're gonna hit create an ad campaign. We're gonna do sponsored product. We have our book selected, but if you really wanted to, you can also select the paperback editions of your book as well. So we can add that in right there. And we're gonna scroll down. And instead of automatic targeting, we're gonna do manual targeting. We're gonna go over to this column, which is enter list. And we are going to go ahead and copy. And we're just gonna go ahead and paste in our keywords. Now, the one thing we wanna change here is right now it's set for suggested bid. We're gonna do custom bid. I personally always set my bid to 33 cents. You can set it for whatever you'd like. You can also do a ton of research into what is the best price, um, but I'm just gonna do 33 cents for now and then hit add keywords. You can see it's all added in for 33. You can customize your bid for each word if you'd like. You can spend as much time on it as you'd like. And then from there, you can add in negative keyword targeting. This is if someone searched a word, then your ad definitely wouldn't show up for that word. You wanna add in your custom text. So you wanna do a lot of research into that. I personally actually have this Google Doc of many different copies I have to sell my book. And you can see this V3, which is short for version three, is highlighted because in the past when I've run ads, this is the one that has performed best. So typically I've reused this one a lot. You just paste it in. You then get a preview of your ad there. I'm not gonna go into the bidding strategy today. Again, make sure to check out the Amazon ads course because this is not a tutorial on Amazon ads. It's just a tutorial on how to get a list of keywords. Lastly, you just wanna set up your settings. So name your campaign something, sort it into a portfolio if you'd like, start an end date for the ad and your daily budget. I typically set mine for $5, but again, that's just me. You can set yours for whatever you'd like. I have to reiterate again that this video was not meant to be a tutorial on how to do Amazon ads. Please, please check out the new Amazon ads course that is offered by Kindlepreneur. It is an amazing course. Highly suggest you check it out. The way Amazon ads works is always changing. And I truly love using Publisher Rocket as a tool for setting my book up on KDP and now also for creating a list of keywords for Amazon ads. And if you want to learn more about doing other paid ads and giveaways and newsletter swaps, make sure to check out my book, Book Sales That Multiply, is a part of the Marketing for Authors series. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to comment down below for a request for future videos. Otherwise, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you all in the next video.